We can have a much better Scotland uh, when we've got full powers. A lot of people don't realise that, uh, OK, a lot of people are still happy with devolution, but they don't realise that the powers that we already have at Holyrood are actually under threat from Johnson Government uh, Internal Market Act, and they will be able to take control over areas that we have already uh, devolved powers over, things like education in the NHS. So there are obviously dangers there, which I think a lot of people don't realise. People who might be swithering, they, they, they think that, you know, they might think that independence is quite attractive, but they don't want to take the risk, you know, it seems a bit risky. But actually, actually staying with the union is the riskiest thing you could possibly do now. Um, there is so much damage that's been caused by Brexit, which they were warned about, you know, for, for five years really. Uh, people like me and other campaigners were warning about the harms of Brexit. Um, and it's, it's all coming home to roost now. Uh, businesses are being, uh, being so damaged, the fishing and farming, the food and drink exporters. Um, areas like, that might not immediately spring to mind, like uh, financial services, relationships, international relationships, damage. you have lost so much standing in the world. So, there's, uh, yeah, there are quite a few good reasons for independence. There are plenty clear signs from um, EU countries, politicians, uh, from the EU itself, that they would welcome Scotland. They can see what, uh, what value we have, they can see the resources we have, um, whether it's uh, in terms of uh, uh, renewables, maritime resources, um, our people, you know, we have fantastic riches and resources in Scotland, which People, I think, in Scotland for, for years have not really realised, but, you know, the UK government realises it. That's why they don't want to lose us.